we get questions on exactly what are we doing when we do a gas check at, at a new customer's house or just a gas check in general. Uh, we call them propane safety inspections. Today we're going to review what that is, the process of it, and how First Fuel and Propane does them. When a customer calls and tries to sign up with us, uh, generally what we do is we you know, go through the whole process of what it's gonna be, and at the end, we tell them what we have to do in order for them to become a customer. And part of that process is us going out and performing a propane safety inspection. We'll start with everything outside and work our way inside. What we'll do is we'll show up to the house, we'll go to the tank, and get everything set up to do the gas check. And what we use is a pressure gauge that will tie into the top of the tank and check all your lines from the tank to wherever the furthest point is. In this case, it's an underground tank. Sometimes we'll be going out and setting tanks above ground. Uh, we'll do, you know, 120s, 500 gallons, 1,000 gallon above grounds, whatever your situation might be. Once we've made sure that all the appliances are off inside, uh, nothing's running, We'll go ahead and come out and we'll hook our pressure tape, our pressure gauge up to the tank. Um, we'll shut the tank off. It'll be tank pressure on the gauge. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and decrease the pressure to get our proper pressure to start at. Once we get our pressure set to where we want it for the start, We'll let it sit there. Generally, the guys will have it on there for a little bit longer because they're gonna go around and get the model number, the serial numbers off of the appliances, um, model and serial number off the gauge or the tank if possible. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into going to every appliance, checking those out, uh, making sure they're to code, making sure they have shutoffs on them and uh, any flexible connections, uh, they'll wanna make sure we'll have the appliance flex connectors. We'll come and check out the second stage regulator on this house. Reason for this is we want to make sure we get the model and serial number off of it, make sure the shutoff's in the proper spot, make sure it's not um, too close to an appliance, and if it is, it's vented properly. So you could also have a second stage regulator for, um, you know, not only just going to, you know, your, your appliances inside, but this could be mounted next to a generator or a pool heater. Um, it could be going to a barn for heat, hot water, whatever it might be, but always gonna wanna make sure we get all the info off of that as well. All right, so now we're inside and we're gonna go ahead and check that all the gas lines are properly installed um, and make sure there's the uh, proper sizing going to your appliance, which could be a boiler, in this case, and it also goes to a cook stove, and there's a couple furnaces on the second floor that we'll get to. But basically what we wanna do is make sure the line looks good, it's secured, it's the proper sizing, um, and obviously there's shutoffs at each unit. Um, that's kind of, that's code. So once we get done with that, we'll go ahead and pop the covers off, and we're gonna go ahead and get the model and serial numbers off of the units. So we do that uh, in case there's ever a recall or if there was an issue um, and you know we our records show that the only thing we had in your house that was using propane um, was your boiler uh, and then we, you switched it out for a new one without letting us know that you got a new appliance. We wanna make sure that you tell your gas company when you get a new one and we come out and do a gas check on that as well, just for safety, because insurance, you wanna make sure the, um, the newest appliance using propane is uh, on our file. So we're in the kitchen now where the gas line was ran from the boiler room. Uh, the stove is run off of propane. We pulled it out. There's a uh, shutoff valve and a flex connector. Um, in case you ever had to work on it, you can pull it in and out without worrying about kinking a gas line. So once we're done with the gas check, everything holds. We'll come in and test each burner on your cook stove and make sure they're working properly um, before we leave. Make sure there's all the air uh, is eliminated from the system during the gas check process. So we'll let those run for you know a few seconds. Everything looks good. So we'll go ahead and turn them all back off. 
Let's put everything back in place where it was. And the oven we tested, that's all set. Uh, everything looks proper, it's converted properly. Um, sometimes we'll go out to a house where they'll be like, oh, well, the back burner, you know, it's been burning orange. So we'll take it off and it ended up being the wrong orifice size for the conversion. So we'll make sure that that's proper as well. We just wanna make sure everything's safe and burning properly um, for, for customers um, so they have peace of mind. So again, we completed the gas check. Uh, we're now checking all the appliances. This one happens to be in an attic space. Um, we're gonna come up here, get the model serial number off of it, make sure the gas line's all proper, fastened, shutoffs, drip leg kits, um, everything's good to go. It's a rude furnace and we will check and make sure everything looks good in there. There's no burn marks or anything weird or out of place. And then we'll open this up. The model and the serial number off of the unit. Again, if you do switch it out, let us know so we can come out and do a, a proper gas check and have it in our system. We show up to your house, introduce ourselves. You'll show us where the tank is. In this case, it was the underground tank. Um, we're gonna come out, just do a quick glance, make sure everything looks good. We'll then hook our gauges up or our pressure gauge up to it. And we'll set it for the proper PSI. And what that does is checks everything from the tank regulators and the tank itself. Um, everything from the underground gas line, all the gas line in the walls, your shutoffs, your, all your appliances, everything to the furthest point that the gas line goes to. That will then hold for three to 10 minutes, depending on how many appliances you have um, and how long it takes for a guy to come back after he gets all the model and seal number uh, off of your, your units. Um, minimum is, is three minutes. After that, we'll come disconnect the pressure gauge wrap everything up on the outside, turn the gas back on. We'll go back in and test your appliances to make sure they're firing up properly. Uh, your cook stove, your boiler, water heater, or anything that really runs off of the gas. We'll then finish the gas check paperwork and then we'll send you an email of that with our signature and your signature to verify that we were there and uh, did the gas check on the appliances that were present during that day. So that's gonna wrap up the propane safety inspection that First Fuel and Propane does when they come out and uh, check everything out at your house. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. So if you're in the Albany area, the capital region, upstate New York, let us know and First Fuel and Propane can take care of any of your propane needs.